Iori Perez making his eighth Major League start, already coming off his fourth win. That was the longest outing of his career, both in terms of innings, six, and pitches, 93. It was great to see him stretched out a little bit, and he was up to the task. And he is ready to go, facing the Blue Jays for the first time in his career against George Springer. This one's out toward right center field. Backing up, edge of the track, and making the catch, Jorge Soler. One out for Perez. Here's Whit Merrifield. And he comes up empty there. Good slider from Perez. 1-2 pitch. Chopped the third. Up with it is Mr. Birdie. Overhand toss to Gurriel at first. The inning is over. That's a nice start for Yuri Perez, who fires a perfect top of the first inning. 15th start of the season for Yusei Kikuchi. He's allowed just two runs in each of his last four starts, but he has yet to reach 100 pitches. Five hit day for Luis Arise yesterday, facing Yusei Kikuchi here. Bouncing ball right side. Ranging is Merrifield, and Arise is set down. Kikuchi may ask for the game ball right there after getting uh, Luis out. A swing and a miss by Soler. He's down on strikes in the first two recorded by Kikuchi. Payoff again. Swing and a miss. Kikuchi with a hop off the mound. He uses sliders to strike out Soler and De La Cruz in a 1-2-3 bottom of the first inning. The young Yuri Perez working off the first base side of the rubber out of the wind up. And he swings and misses. Sayonara, man. 97. Blew his front doors down. Two outs in the second strikeout of the night here for Yuri Perez. That was 97 right down the middle. Look how tardy he is on that fastball. And he was probably five, six inches underneath oh. that fastball, too. Now Matt Chapman. The 0-1. Chapman ropes it to left field, a base hit. Found a slider on the outside corner and took it all the way the other direction to left. And the Blue Jays have their first base runner of the game. 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Jansen got a piece of the slider. Fortes hung on to it. Here's Garrett Cooper. Hit hard. Leaping grab made by Chapman at third base. Nice time on the extension by Matt Chapman. He faces a 2-2 and swings and misses at a slider low of the zone. Strike three. Yusei Kikuchi has three Ks through two perfect innings. Here's the 2-2 now to Horwitz, the DH tonight. And he swings and misses. Good curveball. One out here in the top of the third. And for Yuri, that is punch out number four. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Well, Perez flashing all of the pitches today. That's the changeup for the strikeout. That's a disgusting changeup from Yuri Perez, who now is just piling up strikeouts. He's got five in this ball game through the first nine men he's faced. First time through the order. Nick Fortes to lead things off. Bottom third of the order against Yusei Kikuchi. And that's hit well out to left center field. Kiermaier going back, leaping at the wall, and he makes the catch! A deep drive to left center field. Kiermaier had his footwork lined up, feeling for the wall, left his feet at the best moment, and then came down with a baseball nestled in the web of his glove. He hasn't gone deep into a lot of games this year. Kikuchi, he's only gone six or more innings three times. Chase 96 up out of the zone. Another strikeout for Kikuchi. That's his fourth. Plenty of fastball to blow it by Hampson. And if he can live up in the zone like that at 96, 97 miles per hour with that breaking ball, pretty good combo. 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball cut on and missed. Strike three. You say Kikuchi K's two in a row to end the bottom of the third. And we don't have a score yet. Marlins are without a hit. The Blue Jays have one. Not that one. He went around that time. Another strikeout for Iori Perez. Here's the one-two pitch to Guerrero, and he punches the ball out towards second. Arise has got it. He'll step on the bag himself. He'll flip it to first. It's an inning-ending four-to-three double play. And Yuri Perez is just a rolling through four innings here at Lone Depot Park tonight. Luis Arise to lead it off, top of the Marlins order. 2-2. Two -two. Line. Fair ball just inside the line. He's going to stop at first base. Boy, that stayed fair by a foot. And it's another hit for Luis Arise. Up to 401. He's done. Oh, there's the slap. There we go. Okay. And he gives him the hug here. I love you. I love you. I do. I'm not going to. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> right back up the middle. Handled by Merrifield. Bo cutting in front. On to first in time for the double play. Kikuchi, who's a good athlete, got himself out of the way of that comebacker and let his defense work behind him. And you see where Whit Merrifield is playing, and I don't doubt Kikuchi knew where he was playing. He literally dodged that ball, got out of the way, and let Whit and Bo handle it.
dare we say even more efficient than his last outing in Seattle longest outing of his career 93 pitches most he's thrown and another strikeout there he gets Varsho that's seven K's on the changeup Matt Chapman coming to the plate he had one of the two Blue Jay singles in this game Chapman plugs the gap in right center field it sure hops the wall he's motoring to second thinking about three hits the bag hard turns the corner the relay over at third is not in time a tremendous read as that ball hit the wall and Hampson and Soler were going after it by Matt Chapman motoring for his first triple of the season and again Miami pulling the infield in early and a swing and a miss. That's eight strikeouts for Iori Perez, a new career high. You know, there's some situations you just want to get an out any way you can. There are other situations, if you have the ability, such as Iori Perez, you want the strikeout. Bouncing ball out of the reach of Perez. Arise, gathers himself, and gets the out at first base. And nice he can play. play defense, too. Both pitchers tonight filling up the strike zone. Neither has walked a batter. 3-2. Another strikeout. Nine for Perez. The pitch before was a slider. He fouled it off like he was looking for a slider. I think he was still looking for slider and he couldn't react on that fastball. Great pitch. Here's a one two. Bouncing ball to shortstop. Got him at first base. Nice backhand play by Amaya. Yuri Perez with a perfect top of the sixth inning. Tanner Scott is pitching for the Marlins here in the top of the eighth inning. This is Espinal, the 28-year-old out of the Dominican Republic. And how about this lashed up the left field line by Espinal? He pops off the bench and turns in a pinch hit double. Espinal, an all-star last year, leads off of second base. He'll bring up what would have been Kevin Kiermeyer, but again playing the platoons with the lefty, Ernie Clement. Clement loops one into center field, down for a base hit. Espinal hits the bag at third. Hampson's up with the throw. It's way offline, and the Blue Jays have the lead. one nothing Toronto here in the eighth inning. Springer hitless tonight, and one for seven now in the series. Broken bat over the leap of Amaya into left field, a base hit. Clement with an outstanding read hits the bag at third Hill cruise in and it's two nothing Toronto Cortez a single his last time up back in the sixth inning Cortez left center field get down it will and this one's going to roll to the wall it'll be a double for Nick Cortez his second hit of the game which has got their runs top of this inning Marlins trying to answer back sharply hit Diving play by Bichette gets up, throws to first, late. Wow. They didn't get the out, but that's about as acrobatic a play as you might see. First and third with one out. Nick Fortes at third, Wendell's at first. Tying runs on with one out. A bounding ball. Chapman to Clement. Whip to first, the stretch by Guerrero. Holds the bag to get the out and retire the side. Last chance for the Marlins, down 2-0. Blue Jays back to the bullpen. Best at the back end form has been Jordan Romano with 20 saves this year. Into center field. Long way back. Near the wall. Varsho makes the catch. Slamming into the wall. That's all you needed to do is bring that tying run up to the plate. It's up to Yuli Guriel. In the air out to center. Varsho sprinting into the gap. Makes the catch to finish the ball game. They have their 40th victory of the season 